All right, guys, thanks for tuning into this edition of the channel. And man, this is really cool. So I, I don't know what took me over there. Uh, I decided to drive by the Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. And I've taken some rides recently, dropping off family, you know, to and from and stuff like that. And I noticed that the Verizon service was really good. Uh, not that it was awful before, but you could clearly see that whatever network solutions were serving the airport were starting to really get bogged down. Now, I'm assuming, if it's still the case, I think Verizon does have an IDAS within the actual airport, near like the onboarding and the seating areas and stuff like that. But I, I think this is like very, very new. And this is why I noticed the improvements in the performance of the network. This is a rooftop site that's like on top of this little shelter thing. Uh, and this is on top of the main parking garage that's like adjacent to very close to the terminals and the departures and the arrivals, right? So those kind of, it's like this two level part at Cleveland Hopkins. And then there's, you know, obviously a couple of parking lots. There's the cell phone lot. There's uh, just the main long term parking. So all these sectors are pointing somewhere that, you know, obviously it's strategic, but you'll see that there's a sector all the way to the left and that one's facing uh, the freeway sort of, uh, and towards like the, the hotel. And then you'll see the sector that's closest to us, I guess, if, if that's a way to describe it, that's actually facing like the, the terminals, like cut in half. <laughs> and then that also faces a parking lot too. And then to the right, all the way to the edge, that one is actually facing the terminals and all the onboarding and where people get dropped off. And you'll see that these are all configured slightly different. So you've got N77 on the left-hand side with all of the, I don't know, we'll call it like the, the low band and like PCS, AWS, the, the other stuff. But then you'll see the one that faces the most people. That's the one on the right for the arrivals and departures and where a lot of that outdoor traffic is. Oh, and by the way, the, the cell phone lock gets served with that sector too. You'll see that there's additional gear. So you have the CBRS one all the way to the right, and then you also have the N77 to the left on that far right sector with the two larger high capacity, bigger antennas in the middle. And that's like the setup for all the sectors. Uh, so th this is new, like relatively new. And they built this, I think, specifically to serve the airport. There is a macro site that's like right across the street from the IX Center, which is very close to the airport. There's another macro that's over by I-480, and that one is like super close, super low, and and so that's like two or three macros here for like the airport and the surrounding area, plus the DAS that's inside. So Verizon has done an incredible job of managing, budgeting, building, and serving the needs of their customers. You're going to be inside this airport, the service will be phenomenal. You're going to be outside the airport, the service is going to be phenomenal. You've got all types of solutions here. This one in particular, you you know, I, I tested it. I'm going to post some pictures. By the way, this picture was posted on X, so some of you may have already seen it. But I know some of you that watch my YouTube videos don't follow me on X, so I wanted to share this with you guys. And I was recording a video for this particular thing, and the freaking police officer told me I'm not allowed to park there. So screw him. I had to, like, cut my video short. It's, like, two minutes long. Uh, I'll upload it, and I'll, I'll do some voiceover for it so you guys can see the performance. But the performance was great. I didn't get a chance to test LT, but I tested the 5G Ultra Wideband. It was blazing fast. I'm excited to share that with you guys. So keep it locked and keep it tuned when I do drop that video, and I'll share it with you guys, and you guys could see how it performed, and it was great. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what Verizon is doing where you guys are. They're doing huge, great things here in my market. Serving the airports, indoor situations, convention centers. Um, what they're doing with the CRAN and the small cells is great. Their macros are all upgraded. They're building macros. It's, it's a good time for wireless connectivity. These networks are getting pretty damn amazing. Good stuff here from Verizon. Shout out to the solar panel on top of the roof, too. Isn't that great? <laughs> Tell me what you guys think about all this. Let me know. Drop me some comments what you guys uh, are seeing in your markets, too. Like, share, subscribe. Check out some more videos. We'll see you guys soon on the next one.